Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be my October Ipsy Glam Plus unbagging. It's been a few months since I received a plus. I tell you in all my Ipsy videos, the Ipsy regular bag is where it's at. I think it's the best value and I'm always so happy with what I receive. So we are going to give this one another shot. Now, the only thing with this month's plus is that Ipsy did send this to me and I had to do a separate quiz. So I don't know if I am going to be receiving repeats in this bag. I have a feeling I am, but if I do, I figured, you know what, we'll just do a giveaway. I'll throw in some extra items as well. So I'll have information listed down below. Um, if you guys are interested in entering, I do have a feeling I'm gonna be getting some repeat items I have received in the past, but all these items that I'm going to mention in this bag are items that you could potentially be receiving for this month. But anyways, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and the notification bell down below. And without further ado, if you guys would like to see what's in my October Ipsy Plus, then just keep watching. First off, I did also receive the regular Ipsy for this month. I'm going to do a separate video, so I will have it linked down below. It might be up a day later than this one. And since Ipsy sent me the Plus and the regular, I don't know if it's because I'm receiving it a little bit earlier, but I did notice that the card that they included with my items doesn't have the descriptions of the items and the price points. I know last month, in particular for the regular Ipsy, I did have that card included and I love when Ipsy includes it because I can refer to everything. I don't have to go on my phone. Um, I've got everything listed, so I'm not sure if they are doing it. I would guess that they are going to be doing it since they did it last month for the regular. Not sure about the plus, but again, I love when they do that. So the girl that I was, um, talking with from Ipsy, I'm going to have to reach out to her because it's just so much easier to refer to the card. I'm not really sure why they didn't include it. So the theme for October is Your Magic. And this is what the bag looks like. It says Your Magic on the back. And I love these little pouches that the Plus has been going with. I mean, you can pretty much, you can fit a lot of makeup items in here. So I think this is super cute. And it's crazy because it's like an evil eye third eye in the middle and then it's got like all different makeup items around. This first item is definitely a repeat. I believe I got it a few months ago in my plus, but it is the LaRousse Beauty face set if I'm saying that correctly. So this is what it looks like. So I will be giving these away because I already have four of these brushes. Um, so it kind of comes in like this cute little packaging. I'm going to open up the envelope, envelope, excuse me, to show you the brushes, but I'm not going to take the brushes out of like their protective like plastic coverings so let me just read a little bit about these four brushes so it says this specially curated brush assortment has all your makeup application needs covered whether you're a beginner or a total pro um, it has super soft synthetic bristles that are vegan cruelty free and hypoallergenic and it says that the function meets fashion. These brushes are designed with textured matte handles that make them easy to maneuver in your hand and also happen to look super luxe too. So this retails for $134. Four brushes, $134. So that's definitely a great value that you are getting in the plus. Hopefully you guys can kind of see the handle and see through the plastic, but it's kind of like studded. So I really like that. Definitely different. I don't own any brushes that have like that studded look on the handle. So this is the first brush it is the tapered face brush and basically what I would use this for is for blush or powder again I'm not going to take these out of the kind of plastic sleeve because I am going to be giving these away and then the next brush is their kabuki and basically you could use this for foundation or you could even honestly use this to contour it's a smaller kabuki so it gets like right into the apples of your cheeks so it would be nice for like contouring or even bronzer for that matter and then next is this contour blending so again this would be good for contouring but it's not as like firm of a brush so you could definitely use this to contour your cheeks or honestly you could even use this to apply loose powder or like setting powder underneath your eyes because it is kind of small. And then this last brush looks kind of funky. They are calling this their flat angle brush, but it kind of has a little bit of a dip in it and then it goes up as you guys can kind of hopefully see. But I would use this to kind of dip in loose setting powder and clean up my contour or bake, if you will. These brushes, they're precise, so they're really good at like carving out where you want to um, clean up your contour. So item number two I've actually never received before. It is, and I'm probably going to butcher the pronunciation of this, it is the Laboratorace Falorga Oxygen Glow for the Eyes. 
and the retail value of this is $29. So it says, wake up tired puffy eyes with this illuminating formula that reflects light to brighten your eye area. So that all sounds great. Um, and then it also says encapsulated oxygen and clarifying enzymes perk up your skin while hyaluronic acid plumps and boosts moisture. So I'm excited to try this out. It sounds really nice. Okay, so item number three is definitely a repeat item. I actually already own this and it is the Huda Beauty. I have to go slow saying Huda Beauty. I always want to say Huda, Huda Beauty. Huda Beauty Mauve Obsessions Palette. So that's it right there. I will be giving this away. Let me grab mine that I actually have and use. I can kind of show you what it looks like. Let me um, just see what the value of this, what it retails for. See, it doesn't tell on this, so I'm not really sure. I don't know why. It definitely should tell you what the um, retail value of this would be. I know like her bigger palettes are pretty expensive. So if I had to guess, I would say maybe like, I don't know, like 20 to $25 for this palette. But anyways, I really like this palette a lot. I actually, this reminded me to start using it again. Definitely, you know, more so for this time of year with like the fall and the winter. Definitely a beautiful palette. And you've got all the colors you need to kind of create a really great look. You've got some nice matte shades for the crease. You've got shimmer shades and matte shades for the lid. And then if you want to deepen up the outer V, you have those as well. I really do like this palette. So I need to start using it more. And especially for like the fall and around the holidays, I love like these red tones. Actually today, as you guys can see, I love to do a um, like a darker red in my outer V or like a burgundy color. So this palette is beautiful. So item number four, I am definitely excited about. I have received a couple other items from this brand before in previous pluses, but this is the Sunday Riley A Plus High Dose Retinol Serum. As you guys can see, definitely a full size. First, before we read about it, I just want to see what this retails for. $85. So I knew it. I love the Sunday Riley CEO moisturizer cream. I absolutely love that as well. I'm excited to try this out. So let's read a little bit about it. First, it says it helps smooth and refresh your skin and improve the look of congested and UV damaged skin. Um, that sounds great. I will take that. Um, so it's a serum and it says that it has Hawaiian white honey, Bisa Bolo cactus extract and ginger help balance and soothe your skin for an appearance of a calmer, even toned complexion. Um, and it also says that encapsulated CoQ10 helps to repair sun damage and smooth fine lines. So all of that sounds great to me. Again, I really like the CEO cream, so I'm sure that I will love this as well. Just with any kind of like retinol or retinoids, you do have to be careful. Typically, I like to apply these at nighttime because if you are going to be in the sun, it's not great to have this on but put SPF over. If you do have retinol or using retinol on a daily basis, just make sure you're um, wearing SPF on your face as well because it can kind of um, enhance your chances of getting a sunburn. But nonetheless, again, this is the Sunday Riley A Plus High Dose Retinoid Serum. So last but not least is the Ciate London Extraordinary Translucent Setting Powder. So this is gonna be the third repeat item in this bag. I do own this. It's an excellent loose setting powder. So it retails for $22 and it says the finely milled formula creates a smooth finish, doesn't settle into lines and let your skin breathe. So what I like to use this for is to kind of clean up my contour and bake. I actually used it today to kind of clean up my contour. In terms of setting my face as a setting powder, I don't like to use loose setting powders just because I feel like for me at least, especially underneath my eyes, it can kind of look cakey and bring out any, you know, wrinkles that I have underneath. So I tend to um, stay away from loose setting powders, but for like cleaning up my contour, this is a really nice powder. So I will be giving this one away as well. It retails for $22. Tricky to say because this bag was sent to me, so three of the items that I received were items that I already had, but I would say in general, this would have been a really great bag if I didn't own those three items. The Huda Beauty Palette Love it. Um, I've got some really great skincare items that I've never received. And then those brushes and this powder I love. So generally speaking, I would say it was a pretty good bag. Again, three of the items I had already received. So hopefully going forward, if they're going to keep sending these to me, um, you know, maybe there's something they could do so I don't get repeat items. But besides the point, let me know in the comments down below. Are we bag twins? What did you get this month? Um, did you get any of the items that I did? Did you get completely different items? There were actually some really 
awesome items. I think there were like some violet Voss, Voss, excuse me, glosses. There was like some tart, um, like face powders. I don't even know. I would have loved to get those. Let me know. I would be curious to find out. Also, again, if you're interested in entering the giveaway, I'm going to throw in some other goodies as well. Everything will be listed down below. But anyways, that is it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you in my next video. Bye.